New Mac ransomware is even more sinister than it appears. <laughs> The malware known as ThiefQuest or EvilQuest also has spyware capabilities that allow it to grab passwords and credit card numbers. This is this is frightening. Uh, first off, <laughs> let me let me just interject here. Don't name malware like it's a web cartoon. Um, yeah, it does sound like because I was like, oh, Dan Harmon's got a new cartoon, EvilQuest. But it is apparently a bad thing, right? Is this season two of Thief they, Quest? They did have to rename it because originally it was called Evil Quest. Right. And then they found out there's a video game called Evil Quest See? that they, I guess they liked it or something. So they said, oh, let's change it to Thief Quest instead. So. But who changed it? The, the people who the, discovered it. Yeah, okay. Um, the, like the hackers? Like, yeah, we want to put out, we're going to re, re put out our. Sorry, guys. Don't call us this. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, so this malware was discovered. It, it is unusual, uncommon to find malware on a Mac. Well, we know it's out there. We've reported it here on Technado before. Uh, this one's pretty bad, right? So it, it's got a ransomware component, but it also has a whole remote administration toolkit built into it. If you get this malware, hackers have complete and total access to your system and your information. They can use it to springboard. Uh, it's a it's a feature-packed malware package. So this is like a real advancement. But the <laughs> one thing you don't have to worry about is getting this one by accident. You pretty much have to get this one uh, on purpose. And, and let me clarify that by saying what I mean. Um, this is being distributed right now in BitTorrents of bootleg software. Yeah. So if you want to get Adobe Photoshop, but you don't want to pay Adobe for it, and you go to a BitTorrent and download and install a bootleg copy there's a good chance that you'll find the ThiefQuest malware packaged in there. So when you install it, obviously you have to be an administrator to install software, you're now installing the malware with administrative privileges and your machine is infected. Once your machine is infected, it is in there. This thing gets in, it gets its hooks in deep. And so at that point, you can't trust your system anymore. You'll need to format and restore from a time machine backup unless your time machine backup was attached to your system when you were infected, <laughs> in which case you're screwed and... Uh, you know, you just set the format. If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.